the marketing behind this brand was incredible. Uh, I know George was very involved too with the creative, right? As well as you. And talk to me about how you really decided to market the brand differently than other brands. The, the biggest challenge for me um, when coming up with the marketing was for people to understand that it's not a celebrity brand. We made this strictly for us to drink. It wasn't like, let's put our name on, you know, we got a celebrity involved. Let's put George's name on it and it'll go out, you know, da, da, da. you know, which obviously is happening a lot today. So for me, I had to really come up with a plan for people to understand the authenticity mm. um, and the story behind the brand. So even with the first video that we shot, I don't know if you've seen it, but we had shot something where, um, it, um, it, it was actually really funny. And then it was pulled off of like YouTube because they thought someone else had the rights to it because it was shown on entertainment tonight. But it was it pretty much was, it could happen. And what happened was George and I, when we finally got like the 700 sample in a bottle sent to us, him and I sat there, we tasted it and we were like, this is it. It's, it's perfect. It was so perfect that we polished the entire bottle off like mm. we george and i shared the entire bottle and then we got a ride home back to my house and at my house in malibu we have a guest house down on the beach where george usually stays when he stays over but this night he decided to stay upstairs in one of our kids rooms because our kids were young at the time and they decided to sleep in the master bedroom so we get home very late um george had ridden his motorcycle out so he had met me at a restaurant, but we had taken you know a car back because we couldn't drive. After a bottle and, of tequila. Yes. <laughs> and so George decides he, you know, he can't walk down to the beach house. I said, just go stay up in, in my kids' room. So he goes in there and I go and stay in my other kids' room. And uh Cindy wakes up, it's like one, two in the morning, and she's like, where the fuck is Randy? Like he's not even home yet. So she goes and just to check to see if I maybe fell asleep in one of the kids' rooms. And she walks in and she thinks it's me late, face down, phone, <laughs> phone in my hand, my head's on my phone, motorcycle boots fully clothed. And she gets in bed and she's like, hey, babe, babe, you know, why don't you get undressed and get under the covers, babe? And then it happens to be George. She turns around and goes, oh my God. And then Cindy. <laughs> Freaked out, oh my God. And so George thought he actually got into bed with Cindy into the master bed. And Cindy was freaked out. So she found me and she's like, I just got into bed. I said, it was George. Why is he in the you know kids' room? And anyway, cut to 10 minutes later, we hear noise downstairs. She goes, You better go downstairs and see what's going on. So he's downstairs, and we have this junk drawer with like candy and potato chips and stuff, and he's just munching out. And he's like, oh, my God, I, got, I was freaked out. I thought I got into bed with, with you and Cindy. But I said Cindy was freaked out, too. So anyway, the next morning, uh, we're talking about, and George is, is like, wow, this is the perfect day. I'd like, drink a bottle of Casamigos and wake up with Cindy Crawford. <laughs> and, and Cindy goes, oh, drink a bottle and wake up with George Clooney. So we ended up shooting this video at George's house. Um, and it went viral. It had, like, I don't know, a million or millions of views. And then... Yeah. Um, it was funny, but everything we do is truly organic. And I think it's so important to have that authenticity because as I said, you can't bullshit your consumers. You know, if you yeah. don't have a great product. It's not going to work. I don't care who's behind it. You know, you can have the greatest, you know, Instagram model influencers or this celebrity or that, you know, I mean, as we see, they're all trying to put their names on things, but yeah. People read through it, you know, and um, so, you know, fortunately, anyway, going back to my biggest struggle was people understanding and just coming up with a plan. So, so, you know, the consumer really understands it's not a celebrity brand. It happens to be owned, you know, George is part of it and I'm part of it, yeah. but this is the real story behind it. So just give it a shot. And if you like it, you're going to keep drinking it. If you're not, you're going to go drink something else.